What is the difference between digital marketing and social media marketing? It sounds very fancy. That can be kind of confusing because sometimes they get used interchangeably, but really they are two separate things. And in today's video, we're gonna break it down. What's the difference and how can you maximize them both so that you can get more leads and close more deals? That's wonderful, let's talk about money. I'm Amy Walker, small business strategist, and I have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs be able to grow their business to six and even seven figures. Wow. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the definition of digital marketing, and we're gonna talk about how social media fits under that umbrella. Get in a bubble and help our sales double. <laughs> we're gonna break down paid versus organic social media. Entirely from organic nuts. And then at the end, I'll give you three simple things that you can do right now that are gonna help you get more clients. I. You gotta decide what? right now. So. I'm going to make you a deal. For 20%, I'll squeeze Cuban's head for you. What's the difference between digital marketing and social media marketing? It can kind of be confusing because sometimes they get used interchangeably, but they are actually both different. You need to understand them both. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how they are separate, how they work together. And I'm gonna give you three simple things that you can do today in order to help you get more leads and close more deals. You have a deal. Let's do it. I have had on several different occasions, clients spend a ton of money on digital marketing and not have it return. Um, on one occasion, a client was spending $5,000 a month on an SEO company and they literally did it for a year without a single deal closing. Very frustrating. On another occasion, a client spent 50K on Facebook ads, didn't close a single deal. And here's what I want you to understand is digital marketing is really important in your business. You do need to be able to acquire clients online. However, if you go into it not understanding, then you pay the ignorance tax, which means you can spend a ton of money on something that's not working and you can't even tell it's not working because you don't understand the process well enough. It's amazing to me that you don't see what's wrong with that picture. The definition of digital marketing is is pretty broad. It's just using any type of online strategies, online tools in order to get your message out and attract in leads. Now, the challenge with digital marketing is that sometimes people think digital marketing and digital sales are all in one. And so they'll actually have their marketing functioning fairly well, but their sales process is broken and it's not converting. No bueno, that was terrible pronunciation. Or they're watching certain metrics in their digital marketing and it looks really good, but the there's, there's middle metrics that are tanking and so again, it's not converting. No bueno, that was also terrible. When you step into digital marketing, you need to go in with your eyes wide open and a good understanding of what you should be watching for in your campaign to make sure that it works. It looks ridiculous, but it works. Social media is not digital marketing. So if you are thinking, I'm just gonna put social media out there and that's how I do digital marketing, it's actually just one way that you can do digital marketing. But there's a lot of different ways, because again, digital marketing, anything that you can do online to find clients. There's so many apps out there. So social media is really going to be great at a couple pieces of your digital marketing strategy, but not all of it. It takes five things to make a marketing campaign work. Your marketing assets, it takes your visibility, it takes lead capture, it takes lead nurture, and it takes converting to a sales experience. Social media is good at two and four. It's good at getting you visibility and it's good at building community and nurturing trust with those people who are following you. Yeah, we yeah, built a community talking. from this. He's an instructor. We what built a passionate community. Also, when we look at social media, we have paid and we have organic. When people talk about, I'm doing social media, my immediate question is, always, well, what are you doing on social media? What are we actually talking about? Are you doing organic? Are you running a group that's your container? Are you doing online challenges? And from there, you're closing deals. Are you running paid ads? There's a lot that you can do on social media in order to be able to convert clients. I recommend that you have a good balance between your paid and your organic because they really can work together. I know exactly how to help you. So for example, let's say that you're going to do an organic funnel where you run a challenge group and you're going to use your own personal visibility and you're gonna find some promotional partners who are gonna put visibility into that challenge as well and you prove the sales system. Partners with Kevin to make this a stronger deal. Now that we know that it works, the next time we can go in and pay for ads in order to get more people 
people moving through a process that we already know that converts. So pay attention to both the paid and the organic. I promised I would share with you three simple things that you could start doing on your social media today that would help you get more clients. Make you filthy rich. Number one is going to be live videos that you schedule through an event. And that's a great solution. So create an event on Facebook, let your people know that you're going live and we are live. Invite your 500 people that you can. When they RSVP, as soon as you start the video, have your assistant go and tag all of the people that RSVP'd so they can come and join and watch. That will create the engagement that then makes it go bigger. I happen to love uh, this concept. Um, and then once it's done, go through and look at all the people that watched and attended and commented and send them a private message. So number one, set up the event. Number two, go live. Number three, follow up with all the people who were involved on your live. You guys, three simple steps and you could start getting consistent sales conversations every week just by adding value to the people who are already following you. I want your marketing to work, so I've got two gifts for you today. Number one is I have created a playlist for you full of tips if you are marketing on a budget. And number two, I would love to offer you my sales and marketing GPS. If you are not currently sure why your marketing isn't converting the way you want, let us analyze it for you. You'll get to answer some questions. My team and I will review the data. We'll put together a customized improvement plan for you. And based on what we're seeing, we'll lay it out where you need to go next. We've come to the end of our video and I'm out. For all of those reasons, I'm out. But I want you to keep watching, so go check out that next video.